Hello there. My name is Metime Thomas Chuma and welcome to the Son of Kama podcast. Uh, I know we haven't done this one in a while and it's, it's Tyrone. How are you, Tyrone? I'm good, man. I'm good. It's been very long. It's been a month, and eh? Yeah. Yeah, close to a month. Really? Ah. No, I think it's just been two weeks. Mm-mm. No, there's the week that... We, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, not the yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, been a long time. <laughs> yeah, the point is it's been a long time. So today on the podcast, and we're, we're going to talk about... Uh, dating in the Christian community and dating people outside, outside. of you. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. So we're going to be talking about people dating. <laughs> people <laughs> dating. No, like it's a very interesting topic because I like I I like it very uh, much. Uh, like I'm uh. I'm not into it right now, but nah. then I like talking about these things <laughs> closer to the heart. <laughs> uh, you, you just make things worse for yourself like if, <laughs> if i let you just continue <laughs> don't, worry, don't worry about me don't worry about me. <laughs> All right. so yourself how do you feel and about dating about like christians dating other people in different religions well i think that's a very like um i believe um i think we talked about this like our, our parents ah. they know best ah. those people mm. like they take us to church they want us to get a, if you're to get a wife mm. i believe it's best to get a wife who knows your religion like mm. who understands it because ah. maybe say uh there comes a time when you want to pray right mm. maybe you're supposed to be fasting yeah Mm. For a Christian, maybe you're supposed to be fasting, and then you're dating a Muslim who doesn't do that. They do, maybe they do not do that in their mm. religion, mm. and that becomes a conflict in the in the relationship. So I think, if you're to be dating someone, you have to be dating someone who understands you. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that, that that's true because it will create uh, a lot of uh, unnecessary tension. Yes. Yeah, maybe during the holidays, would you be like, ah, it's Christmas, I got you something. And then I'll be like, ah, we don't, we don't do Christmas. Exactly. Uh, well, and <laughs> so so that, yeah, that, that that's that's just unnecessary pain in the world. Exactly. Like, why would you? I believe. Um, but then to, to a certain extent, though, uh, you uh, matters of the heart, they are very difficult to talk about. Yeah, it's. It's, com- it's complex because like hearts don't have any boundaries. Exactly, that, that, like that, they don't have a language after all. Like ah, you cannot. I would say they, they are like <laughs> I want that, and if they just decide they want that, ah, uh, it's, it's then... that, that's what it's gonna be. So... But then it's I think it's also important and to be able to distinguish and for yourself would you like do I do I wanna take a bite of that like you know or something. Like do I do I want to sleep one in and yeah or do I yeah. really like this person enough? Which despite the fact that she believes in a different mm. God, uh-huh. I'm willing to make this work. Really? Mm. Well, cause uh, the thing is, the thing is, for us, we do not know exactly. There are certain times when we say it's love and everything, but then at the end of the day, it may just be last. Like we you. You you don't think about those things. Uh, Do you honestly think about those things? Like uh, you uh, see uh, someone uh, right now, she's wearing a hijab, uh, but then she's super hot. Uh, uh, Are you uh, going to think about that? Uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, oh my god, uh-huh. we have got the same things in common. In common. And, uh, <laughs> you don't and think about those from things. the first time. Yeah. <laughs> so so maybe like this whole attraction then goes to what you like. Like you cannot love something that you are not attracted to. That's very true. I think that's very true. Ah. Like you can, can you, 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 you can't bring yourself to it. Nah. You'll be lying. You try. You can try and uh, try. The, try, the trying is it's 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 less just lying to yourself. You shouldn't lie to yourself. And you'll be doing. You won't be doing anyone. Yeah. Uh, if yeah. yeah like ah. after that you it might work for for some time like you can be trying for a very you can be doing well for some time uh, and then but you're then, gonna hate yourself yeah you're gonna hate yourself for all those for all those, those christmases that you went to and those friends you pretended to like wasted gifts and ah. wasted money on ah no 
yeah, with, with me the whole honesty thing has always been about the time rather than about the the money exactly you can make back the money you can make back the time the, the time. time it's gone forever exactly like ah. think of it don't you regret sometimes back then i i i have a ton of time yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you did it you did this intentionally eh? i know like you're yeah, not the only one i also have a lot of a lot of those <laughs> ones that i regret why did i waste my time doing that uh, <laughs> then a lot of chances that you didn't take Check. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this is why is this why you returned just to torment me about my past no so, like we you these are things that we go through all right fine you know i need to See, grow all right so, <laughs> you're not the only one mate uh, oh you're, you're just projecting these things <laughs> yeah, you're projecting things about your life on me no and, no no and that's not really unnecessary that's not my life that's that's partly my life like some part of my life but then i know you don't worry you're, you're in a safe place <laughs> <laughs> the fuck hi <laughs> uh, uh, check like uh, let, let me just focus on the listeners cuz guys and um, i just feel like for me <laughs> and i just want to focus on my life right now you know and 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 just just try to be my best self <laughs> and live my best life <laughs> i've heard that before I have heard that before. That ca- Let's talk about that though. Uh, what, you, what, what, what? Like uh, that statement. Uh, people who come up with that statement, do you believe that they like they're living their they're best living life? They're living their best life. <laughs> they are just focusing on themselves. Oh. <laughs> I I think I think you're focusing on yourself and and living your best life and if you're not posting it on 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 Instagram, on Instagram. or on WhatsApp. Yeah, we're not what? supposed to know. We, Why we don't, don't tell us. But and th- and then and Here's something interesting though one that comes uh, that comes in with that whole thing of of posting stuff on Instagram and yes. because I thought about it a lot and then I was like all right so I'm not going to post this and because I don't want to be that douchebag cuz like yeah you should go out there and you should hustle and you should find money <laughs> I don't want to be that guy I want to be that guy and, okay. but then at the same time man you think about what what it could do for someone, for someone else, else who reads that post yeah you know? Yeah. Uh, cuz there's two sides to to the to the story. Yeah. yeah well, it could be retail, it could be red. It could be the one post that made the guy, you know what? I'm going to change my this. life. Uh, yes. I'm going to I'm going to live my best life too. Yeah, yeah. But then li- living your best life don't post it. Yeah, living your best life. It's it just overused. it just portrays some some aspect that things are ah. not going well with you <laughs> and <laughs> You are not in a, very, in a very good spot right now. <laughs> Maybe you you are just coming out from a very uh, <laughs> very disturbing relationship or something like that. My, my so. favorite my favorite one is a praying woman is a powerful <laughs> woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens to a lot of girls. No offense. Ladies, that, that's, then, that's when I know which, uh, it's it's over. It's over. Something is ah, wrong. Something is definitely wrong. That's when you, that's when you start stretching. <laughs> <laughs> wounded beds. <laughs> exactly, wounded beds. That, that's when you start stretching and get you and get ready for a ten. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You know. You know. You know. The other shoe has dropped. I don't do that though. You don't you don't yeah. do wounded but yeah but that's that's a, that's a, that's a wise plan I that's a wise plan wounded beds mm, cuz there's a lot of red flags and we should not talk about this <laughs> just do like no one's going to listen to this to this part of the podcast I think someone is going to listen to this <laughs> oh, like let's think who, okay cool who? all right all right fine fine, okay, fine, cool. fine, fine. <laughs> uh as we were talking uh, and uh this guy distracted the topic we, we were we were purely on track before you you got in with your stuff I know uh, It was you. It was purely on you. Okay, so I'm trying to get back to how we lost the way. Oh, so uh we were talking about this if it's advisable to date outside your religion. Uh, so, uh we 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 then come back and start to think what you So, if if it if it it happens and what you date outside of your religion, wouldn't it be be, be cool and if you went to to heaven and and then like that person became your ex and then you went to heaven and then you see them on judgment day and be like i told you <laughs> didn't i didn't i tell you but then but, think of it uh, think of it the other way though 
I was you know, like, I was fasting and you were chicken in every day. I told you. I told you. Yeah. I was right. <laughs> what if she is the one who is going to go to heaven? Hey. And then she's there. Hey, sh- Dude. You're going to have to live with that for the rest for of the your rest eternity. Of your eternity. <laughs> ah. For the rest of your burning life. Hey, up your burning, up uh, um, you've lost the argument forever. Ah, and then ah. you can't recover. You can't recover <laughs> from that. <laughs> you can't re- recover from those years. Ah, so in order for you to avoid an, uh, suffering in hell forever, with knowing the fact that your ex won an argument, maybe you might consider dating in the same in the same same religion ah. not necessarily the same church ah. but then people who understand each other and then and then there's the same church thing uh what what, what about in, in in different churches but same religion yeah i think that's better like i honestly mm. if i was to give someone advice ah. i would say uh different churches same ah. religion christianity different but then different churches because i've had i've seen a lot of uh, uh relationships mm. that break in the same church so i no longer believe what, what, what about like different also then when they get married who changes churches ah that is very tricky <laughs> that is very tricky that uh, is something uh, they have to sit down and talk about uh, in like i think they have to yeah they just have to to to, to settle uh, it out i'm there. sure i'm sure the feminists are going with it like, <laughs> like hey, <laughs> it's not your right <laughs> to put <portray. laughs> it just because i'm a woman i, I saw that coming church. that's why i didn't have to talk about uh, it you know. uh-huh. yeah go and, go and cook something we all have to be feminists uh, like this is going to be a very interesting thing i believe i'm a feminist like a very strong feminist yeah i was trying to get laid <laughs> yeah, yeah like that's just lazy Tyron. that's lazy of you to try and get laid using the feminist argument i i never used i never feminist. use i never talk about that to girls though dude this is low key Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. You win. It's fine being <laughs> It's okay to be a feminist. Do your thing, my man. Do I'm your a feminist. Thing, you know, wear the rainbow flag and stuff. No, I don't. I cannot be wearing it. So, so, I mean, I want to ask you something. What do you stand for as a male feminist? As a male feminist, mm. I would want my daughter to. I'm talking about like this uh, is going out to my daughter. Uh, uh, I wouldn't want my daughter to be. The one was like, oh, you know, I want to be sold. We were, we were talking about that. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that one. Yes. Uh, I probably would want to, to sell my daughter too. Uh, like to I, dude. Yes, to a dude. Uh, I believe they have to be, like growing up, mm. you know how we, we were raised. Uh, African daughters, they have to be cleaning the house. They have mm. to be cooking. Uh, at, this, at this stage, like at this age uh, of myself, mm. I learned to, how to cook when I came here. Yeah, I didn't know. Like I, so I yes. didn't get, I didn't cook at home. Wow. I had sisters, and I, had, there were a lot of, I had cousins. Like there were uh. a lot of every time at my place, there were maybe around four or five ladies at the house. So I never wow. got to cook. Wow. So, dude, like, I, I, I know, I, I knew how to cook maybe when I was in, I learned know, maybe grade six. That's when I, I learned. With it? Ah, and I was pretty good at it too. Like I think I, I cooked sides of food. Two times in my place. Wow. Like two times, only wow. two times. And that was it. So uh, I wouldn't want that for my for my sons and daughters. Uh, I would like to raise them. Uh, like to raise them in a way that they are going to. Uh, but then I'm not going to, <laughs> to stand for them to choose, you know, the thing that is going on these days. Everyone, you're supposed to choose your sex or something. Nah, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, you're nah, a guy. You're not, if you're a guy, a guy, you're a guy. You accept it. Yes. You move on with your life being a guy. But then, uh, if my daughter would want to play with toys, why not go and get, grab yourself a toy and you don't want a doll? That's okay. Grab yourself a toy. Mm. Play with a toy. What about the boys? Yeah, that's the interesting part. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know. Honey, how would you feel about your boy playing with a, 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 a doll? But then, Think of it. Have you ever seen a boy who has been refused no. to play with a dog? No, no. I, I don't know about you. The thing is, I haven't, I haven't thought about it. Honestly, I haven't. But it's, then, it's quite scary. <laughs> it's quite scary yeah, I how want, you handle that situation. I wouldn't want my, my, my son to be playing with a dog. No, I wouldn't want to have to to 
have that situation to begin like these things i haven't really thought about them in, exactly. a lot in my life and uh that that's that's uh that's why i, I i'm not that's why I, i'm not sh- quite sure about the the the, the five kids kind of thing <laughs> yeah, because i just need the one project to focus on and make sure it doesn't end up only one and messed up insurance yeah. dude hmm? insurance insurance of like, what what if you fail maybe three years down the line you fail ah so then i'm gonna have to bet in some poor soul with taking care of me i don't want to do that to uh, someone else uh, nigga. i want to <laughs> be homeless on my own you know just just wake up live outside that is a very boring S- boring life Being you homeless. die you die lonely Dude. having one kid no but then i'm saying like so you want to have kids for entertainment no <laughs> i think we had this conversation <laughs> no i'm not ah. i'm not saying that ah. but then i wouldn't want to have one like one is risky why What if, what if what if it dies what if it it's, dies it's not like the old thing days dude like <laughs> you you know why we always used to have many kids yes because because like some of them were gonna die and yeah. it was it was a very high possibility to these days over great clinics and stuff and 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 accidents do they then happen. i adopt they a kid to then i adopt a kid there's a lot of lots of kids i'll say that they, that need ho- cool, they're cool, a cool, decent cool. home why, why not just adopt, adopt from the first time then it, nah, yeah, like, just adopt from the first time yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you know you know why you know why, you know i, I want to hit it dry ah. <laughs> at least one time <laughs> Uh, yeah that's uh, that, that's the end that has to be the end of the yeah, podcast that has to be the end of the podcast <laughs> Uh, thank you to everyone <laughs> if the editions you are here uh, you are very appreciated <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that 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 really did a lot of damage <laughs> so uh, as always if you listen to this podcast my podcast converses to the preachers in the church and the heathens in the streets whether you're dirty at the corner or fresh at the mall I speak to them all I am the son of karma thank you for listening <laughs>